Okay guys, I am here. Is this the first Hobbit? It might be, and I'm sorry for the echo. Hopefully towards the end of this like video, I can get my stuff together on like getting a rug or something, I don't know. But let's go ahead and get into this haul bit. Um, this is all of the mail I've gotten since I moved in, which is really exciting. Well, I didn't get it here, I got it to my old house. I just brought it with me. So the first order is from Once More With Love. People will like you as much as you like yourself, which is super cute. Um, there is a little foil freebie in here. Um, so I did place an order. I think I placed an order for the like the past two releases. So the first one is the Generally Unwell. Super cute. I love this one. This is me sometimes. The Poop Ones, which I could have used these so many times in the past couple of years. The VR Headset. The F This S. Um, which could also come in handy. Oh, here's the little um, freebie, which I would definitely use all of these stickers. It's funny because, um, actually, so um, Mark just messaged me and was like, you should do a Sailor Moon inspired kit. And I like screenshotted her, uh, what was it called? Uh, Moon Prism. And I was like, Darcy did art for that. And she's like, oh dang. And then this is gonna be the first movie. Uh, is it Raya? I don't actually know how to say it because I haven't watched it yet. Um, but it's gonna be the first movie we watch in the new house. And also I was really bummed the other day because I forgot to bring Sriracha with me, which is like part of my life. And then this is the Generally, generally Unwell 2.0, the Rise and Shine, and then the Wild Education Animals, which are super cute. Bennett loves like animals. So he's, he thinks these are funny. That's everything from Mark of Once More With Love. I do have a pen. I think I got this on Amazon. I usually get them on jet pens. But the thing is, is if I was just going to be ordering one pen, I was like, the shipping didn't make sense. Um, but I didn't know if I wanted to order a million of them. So here we are. Um, but I love my Energel Klenna. I feel like I've been using them for years at this point. And I always use a 0.3. So let's go ahead and just write that on there, 0.3. And then I found out, well, I accidentally ordered a 0.5. Um, this one has the thing on it still. Let me see. Uh, if I have a 0.5 here. Cool. Which she's like thicker, you know, you can see. But then Jess was like, I got the 0.4. And I was like, I didn't try the 0 0.4. 0.5 is a little thick for my taste. So I had to order a 0.4. And that's nice. It's like a good like in between. So if you like this pen, those are some options. I think they have other ones too. I'm not totally sure, but really excited to have that. I'll link it down below for you guys. The next thing that I have, I have some like non sticker things I'll show you. So the first thing that I have here is what are they called? Like Numios, Numios. I don't know. You know, these things, I got a mini one. I was like, I'm not doing this. I'm not going to fall into this trend, but here we are. So I saw so many posts. I don't remember who it was. I've seen so much stuff on Instagram, um, but they had like little accessories for them. I actually, my mini is like packed. So, you know, eventually. Wait, does it come with like a magnet on the back too? I don't know. Um, but anyways. No, cool. Or maybe, yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's just for like, that's thick. These are so cute. So I saw these and I was like, oh my God, that'd be so cute. I probably won't get like a million of the little like dudes, but I got a mini one and I thought these would be really cute. And also I thought that like when Bennett comes into my office, he can like, you know, pose it or whatever and it'd be really cute. So I got a bunch of little snacks. I don't actually remember what I bought. It's like one of those rabbit hole situations. So, oh my God, the Hue Mungo. But the thing is, is I feel like, right, like, or wait, it's metal and then this is the magnet. I was gonna say, I could probably stick them on a thing. It'd been cool if the items were magnets and then the hands were metal. Cause then I could put that stuff on um, like a, a magnet board, like a refrigerator or something. Um, these are so cute though, and they're really well made. I think they're super cute. So um, I have the little pretzel, super cute. And again, it has like the magnet on the back 
and then the Dole Whip. It looks kind of just like a vanilla Dole Whip, which is actually my preference. This is like a little freebie. It's just like a little Mickey button. The little mini, like a cast member tag. And then a churro, which looks good enough to eat. The Humongo Mickey ice cream bar. And then also the pass holder card just so cute and little i love it so that is everything that i got from that show oh, i didn't even say the shop name was let me look in the garbage um forge and tinker attach to hands or use the magnet backer to attach to their outfits very cool then speaking of magical things um i placed an order with clubhouse buttons and Jessica was looking for a button and sent me, I was sending her some like ideas and she was sending me some ideas. And then I saw these and I was like, well, we actually booked a Disney trip for October, hoping that it all works out. Um, so I wanted to get some buttons to have if we go. So these are the buttons that I bought. Um, I will link them down below, but basically, um, I think both of these were like custom. So basically I picked, like I wrote, I wanted the poo one from like one of the listings with my first visit and then Theo's name on the bottom. And then this one I picked with, it's my birthday with Bennett's name on the bottom. They forgot to put Bennett on here. So they're actually sending me another one. It was super easy. They responded really fast, which was super nice. And I think these are adorable. So in October we'd be going for um, like around Bennett's birthday and then it would be Theo's first visit. And even if we don't go in October, we will go again sometime for Bennett's birthday and um, Theo's first visit will happen. It will happen. And then I also got this, which is a little pass holder magnet. And I just thought it was really cute with the rainbow in the background. So I just went ahead and picked that up while I was placing the order. And then I do have an order in, I always say her name wrong, Sonia Stegeman. We're gonna go with that. But Kiddish Jess put me on to her and um, I joined her Patreon because I just love, like, I love subscriptions, but, like, TBH, I feel like a lot of the times I don't use a lot of the things in them. So, like, I feel like this is going to be the perfect little mini subscription for me. And it's just something cute to get, like, in the mail, which I actually probably need to change my address on this. Probably. I should take that out of the trash. I remember to do that. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and see what this month's Patreon is. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay. I love her portraits, her little fashion peoples. So cute. I love the reflective sheen. I love this like the little button nose. Super cute. Then there is a little washi samples. I think that there is... These are really pretty. I think that there is um, different tiers and I wanted to get like the like ultimate tier, but they're sold out and I think that comes with like way more stuff, but I was just like, this is like, this is good. And then this is a foiled um, stamps, which are super pretty. I would just totally put these, these are gorgeous. Ooh, put these on like a dashboard, super cute. And then there's also just a little, um, what is this called? Like a notepad page? I need a drink. Ah, it's okay. I love to eye doctor our birds, like literally the best thing ever. There's a little notepad page. Which I've actually been, I save these. Cause I think every order has something similar and I just save it for like when I need to write down some notes. Another sticker sheet here, which is really, 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 really pretty. I've been really into like marble busts recently. I think they're really pretty. And then this here, which is a super cute little postcard, which I totally use as a journaling card. I love that like the shirt is like kind of see-through, but it's like known to be there by the hair. I think that's really pretty. And then these big eyes and her lips are really cute too. So adorable. So I love this. I love like how tiny it is, like how minimal stuff, because I'll totally use every single item from this easily. And then last but not least, Amanda from Fox and Pip. I placed an order. I think she had new releases, possibly. Let's see. Okay, so here's the little freebie, which is super cute. It's a thank you freebie, love it. I always love everything Amanda does. And then I did order some of the stickers. So I did get some of the minis. I like the sizing of the mini. So if they come in a mini, I usually get them in a mini. 
So I did get the little picnic baskets because I thought those were super cute. And then I did get these soccer and basketball. I, I think over the years, I've mentioned a couple of times where I buy like a sports sticker and I'm like, if I ever go to a game or the kids ever get into sports, I want to have stickers. So I'm thinking out for my future here. And then the Hello Delivery, which normally I don't really mark HelloFresh in my planner but like if i ever did like i didn't have a sticker now i love hello fresh um i've tried almost i feel like all not all of them because i feel like now there's a lot of them i've tried so many of the meal services and i feel like hello fresh is like the best at least for my taste nick's taste and like even nick's parents i have them signed up for hello fresh and they love it um it's just so good and we're always like what did you get what did you get like what do you think of this like oh if you see this you should get this next time it's just such a good meal service and then i got cookie decorating how that was really cute and then also the really which is literally me like anytime i work i'm just like oh i want to go to sleep so there's that and then i also got this because i have been using my a5 for some planning i feel like i'm like the biggest planner flopper in the world but this I got in the A5 size. It's just a little bit bookmark, which I think Amanda's bow is just super pretty and very um, pleasing in the shape, I think, like in my opinion. Um, that's everything in this little portion of the haul. As always, I'll have everything linked down below. I thought I'd film a little haul bit because it's actually all this stuff has taken so long to accumulate <clears throat> i have not really been shopping i've been doing a lot more like house shopping um but let me show you guys what i have to show you um i'm not really good order to do this so let's just let's just do it so first things first is i did order this i'll try and link the person down below i don't know if it was in this haul or the other one um but they sent me the wrong pin before it didn't say Bennett on the bottom so I just messaged them and they're like oh yeah we'll send you the correct one so um this one is it's my birthday with Bennett because we're hoping to go to Disney in October then I have I think this was two orders from Wish Upon Magic so this is just a cute little like Mickey outline with some flowers on the bottom and then I also have this one which says and they live happily ever after and there's like little white it's a clear sticker but they have like little white you can kind of see it on there little white maybe right there there you go little white stars and then there's this one here which is this ariel's like underwater castle i think super cute and like a little like terrarium looking glass then i have some stuff that was sent to me so this was sent to me from carolyn which i'm assuming this is a collab with her and amanda from fox and pip since amanda's bow is all over this which i love amanda's bow i think it's really pretty and like symmetrical so this is a regular notepad with foil it has hollow foil on it with like little lux symbols with um, amanda's bow in the background with an ombre rainbow which is really pretty like a pastel one and i actually use this is i haven't i didn't bring a lot from my old office yet but i did actually bring the one that carolyn like this lux one carolyn sent me because i actually use it a ton for writing like really long lists whether it's like grocery lists or whatever on and then she also sent me this one which is the same size which i really like this size i also feel like it's nice like if i need to write something down for work i can just like fold it and stick it in my planner real quick um but again this has amanda's bow throughout and you have like the rainbow ombre ones and then like pastel ones i think it's really pretty and you have lots of room to write and i love it so thank you carolyn those are gorgeous another thing that was sent to me is this and this is from hannah which is so cute she sent this i think kirsten ordered and she sent it um along with kirsten's order so thank you hannah and this is just a bunch of like new items i think they are already available uh, i'm reading these ones but i think they're already available it smells like um smells like a wax melt it smells like um like a cinnamon bun kind of wax melt which is funny because i know that like hannah is like the wax melt queen so this one has some different it looks like spring quotes in gold which are perfect you can put those in my spreads now and then there's also some icons here all in gold so there's a little playground one there is a gardening one 
a really cute spring one. I can literally smell these. They smell so good. And then there's this one here, which is a tattoo one. So I do want to get, I'm going to get another tattoo. My friend Bree comes in September. She's been wanting to do like another matching tattoo. And I think we finally figured out what we wanted to do. And then there's these really funny, like, um, well, I guess, mm, yeah, these ones are just normal. And then these ones are funny. So I'll let you read them. But just like weather scripts in black, which are super cute. But I constantly am saying these things, so they're perfect. And then like the regular sheet. Love those. So thank you so much, Hannah. Um, what else? I have this here. I think I picked this up at Walmart. I couldn't remember if I had this one. But I feel like I don't think I do because I don't remember the Snow White stuff. So I'm using you guys out a little bit. But this was at Walmart and I was like, well, I should just pick it up because worst case scenario, I'll have two. And I just love the Disney Happy Planner like line. This is so cute. The date night stickers are adorable. Oh, it's so cute. Like, come on, look at these. Like, if you're a magical loving person, this is this is where it is at. They are sized for like happy planners, but you could totally use them in any like 1.5 standard with column, which is just super cute. You may ask, Andrea, what are you gonna do with these? I don't know gorgeous oh my gosh Tiana's just so pretty especially with the pink <clears throat> super cute so it's like planner stuff but also could just be like bullet journaling or just deco type stickers like you could stick this on whatever it doesn't really matter these are gorgeous so I love the colors that they picked really pretty oh that's really cute too the date night ones are adorable these are looking these ones are looking a little dark but it's okay <gasps> That's really pretty. Again, I like the colors. I feel like they picked like their classic colors along with like darker colors, which just makes it a little bit more, I think fresh, oddly, even though they're darker colors. Market, errands, what to wear, LOL, with the pink and the blue. I feel like I need to rewatch some of these like older ones. And then they have these big ginormous stickers, which are really pretty in foil and regular kind of colors. And these are on clear paper. Clear paper, these are cute. <gasps> so cute. And the little sidekicks, love those. And then you have like a girls night, friends who brunch, it's super cute. I just love this. I'm pretty sure I don't have that one because I don't remember those stickers at the end. Um, speaking of magical things, I also bought some more berets, which did I need them? No. Did I want them? Yes. So, um, this is the same person. I ordered berets from them before. I think they were Halloween berets and I didn't. I don't see like, I think Instagram hides things for me because I did not see them come out with the Christmas ones, which this was one of the options. The one that I actually really like, it says Snow Place Like Home. I don't even think I look good that, that good in berets, but like maybe I just need to like put on makeup and do my hair. But I didn't see these release and I actually liked a different Christmas one better, but it was sold out. So I got this one. So you have like the, I mean, the little like pearls that could be like Mickey heads, but also just could be gorgeous. So so place like home, love that in the red. Then I also got this one here, which is just super cute with the conversational hearts. And then it says, so this is love. So now I own five berets if I ever need one. And then this is a like Valentine's Day inspired treats that says love is sweet. So I thought those were really, really cute. And I picked them up again. I didn't need them. But Jessica actually had this really good idea of like getting like a mannequin head, like a really cute one, and then using it displayed and I can like change out the braids, which might just be what I do. Um, then I also have my like Patreon from um, Stonia Stegman. Stonia Stegman? I think that's how you pronounce it. I actually saw the other one over there because I still need to change my address. Actually, no, I have it sent to work, so it's actually fine. Um, but um, this is the next month's one, so Kitness Jess got me into her. I think her art's really pretty and I love like subscriptions, but I do, I'm not subscribed to a lot of subscriptions because I feel like a lot of times they're like overwhelming with like a lot of things that I won't use, but I like how like small this one is. I think that there's like a level up, but it was like sold out. Um, but I like how like there's just like a couple of things and it's like it's like consumable for me. So this is just a little postcard, which is super cute. You can use as a dashboard. I love the little bunnies. And then it does have like an actual like traditional postcard situation on the back. 
There's a little sticker sheet, which this one's really cute. It's like berries, like a strawberry shortcake kind of vibe almost, which is just really, really cute. And you just have some stickers on there. It also came with a piece of like a notepad. I think maybe like the other like level up subscription, you get maybe a notepad and you get like full washi. Um, but I actually do use these. Like I save this and when I need to write down like a quick little note, I'll use it and be like, oh, cute. And then, but actually would look really cute. Like if you had, I think it was this be like A6 maybe. And you could just like put them in there. Like it would be adorable. And then there is a super cute um, fashion option vinyl here with like a really pretty like matte silver background circle, which is really cute. Love that. Oh, and then there's like, I think it's just like a shimmer on the colors because then they have like the brassy color also has it. And I love how like the little red nose is there. And then you do get like a little washi sample which has cakes on it, which I mean is so cute. So I love that. We'll definitely use those. Last but not least, this portion is wax melts. And I'm not, I'm, I'm a little like overboard on my, um, my bundle. I think I might've showed this already. I know I showed it on Instagram, but this is my bundle. Um, the scents might still, I don't know when I'm putting this haul up, might still be available a la carte. Um, but maybe not. I don't know. But I'm obsessed. Like, and I love scents. These are like the best ones. They're so good. So I wanted to do kind of like a Disney theme, but like a low key Disney theme. And then I was looking at like, I was trying to like name the scents. And then I was like, I want like a theme. And then I had like a couple of extra scents and I was like trying to narrow it down. And then I was thinking, oh, Park Hopper has four symbols i really love all of those symbols because you have the mickey head the heart the star and the moon and i just think those are all really pretty and i thought they all kind of like match the sense of them too and i was like it's kind of perfect so first things first you for this bundle you had a sticker sheet which i already put mine away and then you had these really pretty um mailers i did order like seventeen thousand of these so this is just one of them um but this is wish and i did do like custom like little labels here which are super cute i wanted to do something like really special so i thought this was really nice these scents are like amazing and i love seeing like all y'all like enjoying them as well so wish is like a bum bum scent so have you ever smelled i think it's called like brazilian bum bum maybe or something or I can't think of what it's called, but it's like, you could buy it at Sephora and probably like on Amazon. Um, but it's a really good like summer lotion that kind of smells a little bit like sunscreen, a little bit like a coconutty kind of like caramely, but like a little citrusy. It's really good. So if you like this scent, you can actually get Bum Bum, which also comes in lotion. I think they have like, um, uh, I have the lip balm. I have a spray. Like they have so many different products that all have this scent. So if you love it, you can get more things in that scent. Along with that, there's Magic, which smells like Aveda Champure. So Aveda Champure is definitely a very strong scent. Uh, Kirsten was like, that's kind of intense. Yes, it is intense, but I worked at an Aveda salon. Um, before, I worked, before I did stickers, I actually um, worked at a Pete, not at Will's Italian place, it was on Pete's place. I worked at a Pete's place when I was really, really young. But um, I worked at an Aveda salon with Brie, my best friend, and I love shampoo. <laughs> like I would just be like, I worked front desk and I would just constantly be like, they had candles whenever it was holiday, they have, now they make everything in shampoo. I feel like whenever I worked there, they only had the shampoo and the conditioner, which I do have. And I also have the body wash and I need to get a candle. And I also have, they have a body oil. Um, I don't even know what else they come out with. Like, honestly, it's just one of their like best scents. It's so clean, it's so fresh. It's one of those ones, I'm gonna warn you, that you put in your warmer and it's gonna smell up your whole entire house and then you'll probably wanna shut it off because it's like very powerful. But that's awesome because I feel like you get a really good bang for your buck and it smells really good. It smells like a really luxury salon, very refreshing in a like, um, not like a minty, but like the same kind of like a tea tree oil, kind of that kind of refreshing. If you know, you know. Then there's Dream, which I think is Kirsten's favorite, which smells so good. This is just a really relaxing scent, which I feel like the rest of them, like this one has a very summer scent. This one's a very like lovey perfume scent. And this one's a really like spa kind of cleansing scent. And this one's just kind of very calm and very minimal, but it smells really good. It almost gives me Play-Doh scent vibes like whenever you're warming it, which might sound weird, but I know there's a lot of people who like the Play-Doh scent, um, but it is Dream and it's oatmeal, vanilla, and sweet honey. 
it's just really relaxing and is probably one of the like I think a scent that most people will like this would probably be the second one that I think most people would like and this is love which is wild berries mandarin and honeysuckle which smells like viva la juicy and I love viva la juicy I think it's probably my second favorite <laughs> perfume I um my favorite perfume is Daisy, but I think my second favorite perfume is um, Viva La Juicy. It's just such a good smell, and it just, it's a I think this was Kane's favorite whenever he hauled him. It's so good. It's not, like, super perfumey, though. It's just a very nice, light, kind of, like, florally perfume. I really love it, and I just think it's kind of, like, flirty and cute. Um, also, this is no longer available. Well... I don't know if I'm going to have this haul up in six days. I'm filming on the 24th, but this is Raygun's favorite, but maybe we'll bring them back in the future. Who knows? This is actually my favorite out of all the favorites so far. So, so far there's been Avery's favorite, which was a cherry slushie, which totally is not for me. Um, I think Bennett really liked it, but like, it's just very like cherry. And then Kirsten's favorite was Dr. Pepper, which smelled really good. But this one, this one, my friend is a banger. This one's so good. It smells like, um, fruit loops but it's labeled as lemon pound cake which they do smell similar because it smells just kind of like a baked good lemon scent oh it's so good and in the warmer so good and it totally reminds me of reagan reagan's such a cutie and then i also have this one which is super cute bennett already stole my sticker sheet so i told kirsten to print me up another one um but this is 100 acre wood and this one is poo themed, which is super cute because Theo's first birthday was also in April and we did a little like Winnie the Pooh-ish themed um, birthday setup. So you have all four scents. It did come with a little sticker freebie, which was like really cute. Um, so you have Pooh Bear, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. And my favorite is on the bottom. So Pooh Bear is honey buttered rolls. This one smells really good. It, you definitely have a, like a cinnamon bunny smell, but like with a lot of butter on top, which smells really good. I think it'll be nice in the kitchen. And then there's Tigger, which is orange citrus and creamy vanilla. This one's really nice too. It's not too much of either, if that makes sense, but I feel like you smell the freshness of the orange, but then you also get that hint of the vanilla. So it almost smells like a creamsicle. And then you have Eeyore, which is lavender marshmallow, which smells really good. This one's like laundry room vibes, which I mean, Eeyore is just laundry room vibes, let's be real. Or if you want your bedroom to smell like fresh linen, I feel like that's perfect. And then Piglet, which is my favorite, which is pistachio, amaretto cream, and vanilla um, ganache. I mean, you read that. You knew it was my favorite. Mm, 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 mm. It... It has the like nuttiness that I really like in scents, but the vanilla makes it kind of sweet. So it almost smells like baked good, but also still smells really nutty. And I just feel like it's one of those scents that's just kind of like nice and neutral. So I really love that as well. So that is everything in this portion of the haul. So I think it's been like a full week since I have done a like haul bit and normally I have like so many things the past few weeks, not so much. So I just have three different shops to show you guys. So the first thing I have is some wax melts from Fantasy Wax. They came out with like a boy band little bundle, which was super cute. It came with a little hollow like SPC Fantasy Wax collab freebie thing in a hollow bubble mailer but let's go ahead and go through the four cents i'm actually probably gonna put this haul up soon so these will probably still be available so this is boy band which is blue raspberry slushy and all of these scents smell exactly what they're labeled as this one is super sweet i think perfect for summer the next one here is called blockbuster which is sour patch kids Mm, this one smells really good. I personally don't usually love like super sweet candy scents, but this one's really nice. I think that like in the kitchen, this will be a really nice, like super kind of like bright, fizzy kind of scent to have thing to like switch things up in the summer. This one here is called Game Boy. So this one is I think Kirsten's favorite and it is a um, cucumber melon scent. It smells so good. It almost smells like a bubble gum that I've had before. 
that I can't totally put my finger on it, but I love this one. I definitely need to pick up more of that. And then probably my favorite is Saturday Morning Cartoons, which if you know my scent preferences, that's not like a really big surprise. And this is Rich Maple Syrup and Warm Vanilla. So like pancakes and waffles or something like that. It smells, oh God, that went on my nose. <clears throat> It smells so so good so warm and like buttery and syrup it smells like ihop to me which i do love pancakes from ihop it's just so simple and such a good a good time always it's always consistent the next order i have is from marg of once more glow i think she actually put out new releases like the other day too i need to go pick up so you have the little card here which i think i got the same one in my last order and then there was two freebies so this is the April freebie and then this one is the pride freebie which is super cute I think she came out with like a pride sheet then so that was like an extra if you ordered during that release and then there was a bunch of new releases I think that I ordered this like weeks releases and then also the week or two weeks whenever last she did a release those releases as well um, so this is cry baby. So super cute. I always use like crying stickers, mostly not for like actually crying, but more for like, just like wham me, poor me type things. Then there is the munchkin blob. I think after this release, I messaged Mark and I was like, are all of your releases from now on just going to be negative emotion releases? This one is not today. That word. Do not disturb which is me always cozy this one's cute so cute and then the lightning bolt which i thought this would be cute for whenever um like watch or reread harry potter books something a little like nonchalant and then this one is late af this one's super cute with best day ever and then this one is seasonal affective disorder which is totally a real thing so cute but thankfully we don't have a lot of like winter here because i feel like whenever i lived in pennsylvania winter made me so sad but we don't got a lot of winter here summer does make me super happy i just feel like everything's easier in summer okay now i have my babe box from the honeybee shop and this is one of my few subscriptions that i have so let's go ahead and get into it this is like a rainbow theme which you guys know I'm a fan of rainbows. So you have um, a bow. It's like a clear bow, so it's really hard to see, but it's just like a bow with like little hollow stars on it, like hollow confetti stars on a silver clip. Then there is some journaling cards. So this one has like information on all the stuff included that says dreamer. And then this one has the two different skin tones on it with like a hollow stroke. Then there is some washi tape. So you have, looks like days of the week. And then you also have some clouds, moons, and stars. Then there's so much stuff. What is that? Yeah, I don't know what that is. All right. Then you have some die cuts. says so vinyl die cuts. There's always like 30,000 in here. I think last month was like insane amount. This one's like a normal amount. So you have all different stuff, like different discs and mild liner looking things and cute fashion people, little backpacks, some clouds, a little kitty drink, some more mild liners, a bunch of rainbows, which I appreciate with hollow or fashion people. Some different um, like tab looking things, right? Some little like hand mirror compact situations, little like thought bubbly type things, and then more of the first one that was there. Then there are some little sticker sheets. So these look kind of not like a, I guess like a doodle sort of. I think TT finally fell asleep. He's super tired. I think he's going through a growth spurt. So there's some little backpacks, the little kitty drink. And then some of the foiled um, rainbows that say different things on them. Super cute. Then there is um, a sticker book. 
Pastel Dreams sticker book. 465 stickers inside. Okay. So this looks like kind of like a functional situation. So is it going to just be like similar? No. Okay. Actually, yeah. So it has this page, like kind of this layout in different colors. And then it looks like the box just changes like on the corner. So I think they all have hollow. So they're just pink, orange, it has builders, yellow, green, that's pretty green, blue, purple, and then this one has date numbers, months, and then weeks. And then this one's foldable. And then you have these guys here, which are just little boxes, some more stickers, more stickers. And then that is the whole little book, which is super cute. Then there's this, which is an acrylic clip tower. I don't really know how this is a tower. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, there's more pieces. I was like, <laughs> sure. Okay. That was confusing. Alright, so this is cute, right? Is there like a... Yeah, okay. So you just stick her on here. I'll definitely use this because I love rainbows. I think this is adorable. It's definitely my like vibe. You just like... I don't want to like break it, but I also don't know how to, oh, there we go. That's sturdy. That is super cute. So you put clips on it, um, like dangly things. I'll probably find something else to do with it, but it's super cute. Love that. That's really fun. That's probably my favorite things that are gotten from like the random bits. And then there's a cute little sticker album. The TV is definitely on the screen. He's thinking about it little sticker album that's super cute that has the rainbow and then the little so you could put your stickers in here i'm assuming they're made for her sticker sheets yeah but would they fit like once more with loved one where did i just put those oh they're here i don't think so no will they fit my doodles i think i have one right here they should yeah, they'll fit like SPC doodle sizes, but that's like basically the largest size. Actually, they're that's like oddly the same as always. Dang, perfect. So they'll fit those, which is cute. So maybe I'll use that for that. Adorable. Love this. I love the rainbow. You guys know, like I've said a million times, obsessed with rainbows. I think this is a really cute little design too. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Oh, wait. And then it's side load as well. And two pockets per, which is like a vibe. So love this. This actually might be my favorite one. I'm, I'm vibing with this, this box. I feel like me and Kane are overusing the word vibe recently. But, you know, whenever something's a vibe, it's a vibe. So you have some rainbow acetate, some cloud could be hollow or silver, I don't know. Vellum. And you have some papers. You have two of each. So you have this situation, which is super cute. This one, which is super cute. It says Babe Liner. And then you have, this is adorable. See, I would do like a whole dang thing with this because I love the colors. I love the rainbows. I'm here for it. So this is probably my favorite Babe box yet. I didn't, I don't think I really saw any spoilers for this. I feel like I haven't been paying attention recently, but like this is cute. I really like this too. Like I feel like it's really good quality. And I've gotten a couple other like washy, I don't know if it was a washy thing or something else. I've gotten like a clip and a washy thing and they don't like stay in so that this like stays in is really cool. So love that. So that's everything for this portion. And actually probably this is the end of the haul because I want to get this up before like some of the items are like three months old because I've just not been purchasing as much recently but I have a feeling like towards the end of the summer a lot of people start coming out with stuff especially towards the holidays I love it and that's when they start going crazy again so yeah I hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one bye